My name is Donna Lynch, and I'm going to be reading today from my book, Girls from the County, available on Raw Dog Screaming Press. I wrote this piece about women like Elizabeth Siddle. It's called Whoever It Is That's Dreaming Me, Wake Up. If she'd known that one day she'd have to be everyone's beauty queen, she would have stuck her face into the fire right away. If she'd known that one day she'd have to play whichever role would get her home in one piece, she would have cut her tongue out to avoid the performance. If she'd known that one day she'd be hated and loved for the exact same traits, that she'd be an adornment, that she'd be a muse, a receptacle, when she was secretly just a shell, just a vehicle and a mirror, that she'd be a dream at least until someone else opened their eyes. She would have anchored herself to the bottom of the quarry where the world was quiet and solely her own. Whoever it is that's dreaming me, wake up, she'd beg again and again. She hated that they made her beg. So when the day came that she finally found her way to the bottom of the quarry, her face charred, tongue removed, pockets filled with stones, the dreamers cried at their loss and made her a martyr setting her recovered and desiccated remains upon a pedestal to be worshipped and prayed to and used. She knew then, once again, she was forever trapped in the greedy hearts of the sleeping and the dreaming. And I've chosen this piece from Elizabeth Siddle's collection because sometimes it's better to be mad than sad. Open not thy lips, thou foolish one, nor turn to me thy face. The blasts of heaven shall strike me down, ere I will give thee grace. Take thou thy shadow from my path, nor turn to me and pray. The wild, wild winds thy dirge may sing, ere I will bid thee stay. Lift up thy false brow from the dust, nor wild thine hands entwine. Among the golden summer leaves, to mock the gay sunshine. Turn thou away thy false dark eyes, nor gaze into my face. Great love I bore thee, now great hate sits grimly in its place. All changes pass me like a dream, I neither sing nor pray. And thou art like the poisonous tree that stole my life away. <laughs>